By the way, the sea is mostly bluey-green, but why? In fact, it can be red at sunset when it reflects the sunset, or even grey on overcast days. But most of the time it's blue or green, depending on the way you look at it. In fact, if you look at this bit here, most of it looks blue until you come around the headland and then you see bits of green in it. It appears to change. But in fact, the sea doesn't change colour, it's the light that change colors, ch changes colour. If you hold up seawater in a bottle, it's, it's clear. What it does, though, is act as a filter to certain kinds of light. And all the light that's going into it is sunlight, which is white light. If you break white light up, as a rainbow does, you'll find it's in fact composed of these six colours. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. And you put them in a wheel like that, and when you do, you find that the colours that are opposite each other, the complementary colours, really do behave rather in opposite fashion. And what the seawater does is in fact to filter. It filters out the red and the orange part. So those are removed from white light, rather like this. And if you do that, of course, what you're left with is light that's very rich in green and blue. So depending on whether you remove more orange or more red, you're going to get a greener or a bluer sea. We can do that for you with our television camera. I'm going to drop the uh, red out of my face. There. And you'll see what's left is a strange sort of bluish, greenish effect. Put it back in again, and it's okay. That's what seawater does. That's why it looks greeny-blue. <laughs>